Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Happy Easter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Get into the live, everybody. I'm super excited to see everybody tonight on this Sunday evening. Happy Easter. Oh my goodness. I'm your boy, Lakshan from LakshanSense.Sensi.us. And I've missed you guys. I haven't had a chance to connect with you guys in so long. Oh my gosh, I've just been super, super busy. But I just want you to know that I love each and every one of you guys. And I'm here. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited just to connect up with you. But first of all, I want to say for everyone that, that's celebrating um, with loved ones today, happy Easter, happy Resur Resurrection Day today to everybody. I hope you guys are all being around your families and enjoying time with your loved ones and just doing something really, really fun. Um, Easter for me is such a special time and I'm just hoping everybody's having such a great evening tonight. So I'm super excited to see you guys and yeah, get into this live. So welcome guys, shout me out. We're going to talk some Sensi today. So two things, I'm not going to keep you guys long tonight because I know you guys have been waiting. I haven't seen you guys in forever, but we're going to be talking some great things that are going to be coming out tomorrow, which, oh my God, I'm super, super excited to just share with you guys. We've got some great things coming out. And then also, I know you guys have been in anticipation. If you ordered in the flash sale, I know you guys have been a little frustrated because some of you have not received your items in a timely fashion. And I'm so sorry about that. I really apologize. But what I will say is it has been worth the wait. The flash sale was up to 80% off and great things came in. And I got a good box of stuff that I'm going to get into it with you guys today and show you guys what I got from the flash sale. It finally came in. But without further ado, let's get into this new hairstyle. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys like it. So for Easter, I wanted to do something fun and something different with my locks. And as you guys know, I am almost three years locked. I will be three years officially locked in October. So about um, two years and a half, give or take. And so I wanted to do something really, really just fun. And I, what I love about my locks, it's like wearing a hat, right? Or wearing a crown. You get to style your hair however you want to. Whatever makes you feel good, you should be able to do and you should be able to try around with some new things. So my loctician, she did a great job coloring my hair. And she did a great job of a great style. But then I thought for Easter, I kind of wanted to do something different, something fun, something new. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials, right? And I'm like, I want to kind of make my locks like a fro and I want it to be like super, super curly. And I'm like, how can I do that, right? So I'm doing like research and a lot of people I'm seeing with their locks, they're using these things called um, perm rods, right? So I'm like, okay, it seems easy enough. You know, let me see if, you know... I can handle doing this on my own, right? And so I got me a whole set, went to the beauty supply store, got me some perm rods, um, nice little set, variety pack. I think it was like 13 bucks. Um, got me some mousse, some um, some olive oil mousse to get that extra hold. Um, I already got my good, um, my own routine with of how I condition and um, maintain my own lock. So I just took my hairstyle down because it was about time. Um, I did the routine, I washed my locks, I conditioned them, and I, <laughs> before Easter, you know how you got to get that, your hair done, right? So what I did is I decided to roll up them locks. I got them rolled up, right, with the perm rods, made sure they were conditioned, make sure they were moosed up, make sure those parts are right there in place. And this is the result. And I, and I let my hair um, air dry for a day. So I had them in the perm, the perm rods for a day. Um, still did what I had to do with the, with the perm rods and was out getting some good sun, got my hair good and dry, get it really dry. And um, I took the perm rods out this morning and I went about my day and this is the result. I want you guys to see. My hair is like super, super curly. My locks are really, really cool. I really love the color. I love the fact that I can just do something really, really fun and unique and just something different. And I hope you guys like, shout me out if you like the style, right? And this will last me um, probably about mm, two to three weeks if I maintain it very well. And if not, you know, I'll redo it again. But I really like it, you know? Um, 
Gives me a little bit of bounce. More bounce to the ounce. I feel like a hoppity hoppity Easter bunny with my hoppity hoppity hair here. Somebody uh, said today, they were like, oh my God, I love your hair, but it reminds me of curly fries. I was like, what? Curly fries? I'm like, okay, I think that's a compliment, but look, okay, look, I love it. I absolutely love it. I love that it's fun, it's something different, and I love that with your locks, you when you wear your locks, you wear them how you want to wear them. You style them how you want to style them. They are uniquely you. No one's locks are the same, no one's journey is the same, and I love that I can do many different things with my locks to be uniquely me. So I hope you guys like, give me a good shout. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Um, leave, me, leave me a note in the comments. Yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think. Shout me out what you guys think about it. All right, so with that, tomorrow, oh my gosh, under the sea, under the sea. I hope you guys are excited because guess what is launching tomorrow? Oh my gosh, we have a, um, Little Mermaid collection that is launching tomorrow. And I just want to show you because I don't have it yet, but I'm super excited um, to show you what is coming. And um, it will be available directly on my website, lockshawnsense.sensi.us. And just check this out, guys. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys can see, right? I'm trying to get a good angle. So with this, right, we have a um, Ariel uh, Buddy which she's really, really cute. We also have, oh, I'm hoping there's not too much glare. We also have a Sebastian um, smaller buddy. Oh gosh, here goes my eye. Uh, what do you call this? Pencil, eye pencil? Lord have mercy, let me just put him to the side. But some really, really cool things. And um, an, uh, one scent that we had before that went away for a little while that's coming back, scent bars, a whole collection. Oh, this is beautiful and a beautiful new warmer so i gotta get into it and let you guys see this like super super cute oh my gosh perfect for that little bell bell or bell that little ariel in your life and look how cute the mini sebastian is he's so super cute now i have in my classroom when we had the full size sebastian i have him but i'm looking at the little sebastian here and he's just so cute and I love Ariel, too. The details are so cute. So this is perfect for a little young girl. This is perfect for that, for that adult that really fancies the Little Mermaid and is really into Disney like I am. Super, super cute. I'm going to get into some details here in just a second. Um, here's Sebastian once again. Oh, he's a clip. He's so cute. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love him. Oh my gosh, and the details are so immaculate, right? And just check out this warmer. If you got, oh gosh, you guys can see the details really good now. All right, so we have this beautiful under the sea area with flounder um, warmer that is coming out. This is brand new. Uh, the scent bar uh, Kiss the Girl um, is a return, but there is one that is new as well. And I'm going to get right into that. I cannot wait to tell you everything that is available. So it will be available tomorrow. So we have the warmer for The Little Mermaid. It'll be $55, available at Lockshawn Scents. We have the Ariel Buddy. She, Miss Ariel, is available, and she'll be $40. Really, really nice. The Sebastian Buddy Clip is $20. And he's super cute. Like, oh my gosh, the I had the... Um, the original buddy of his when he came out, and I have him in my classroom. I absolutely love him. So the clip, you know, for 20 bucks, it's, he's cute for like a little book bag or, you know, just any little cute little um, small little place that you would want to put him. I'm absolutely in love with him. And then the two bars of wax, um, they are six fifty dollars a piece, which are really, really fabulous. Those scents are amazing. And then we also have the scent pack that is available for your arrow buddy and that is at 750 so oh my gosh i'm super excited for that collection it will be available tomorrow now i will tell you with releases and the demand of things right now if you see your favorite favorite item right don't hesitate don't hesitate send me a message send me a dm send me an email 
I'll get you on my pre-order list. I got you. Don't worry. So I can make sure that I get these items ordered for you in a nifty time. And don't hesitate. I got you. But don't wait. If it's something that you really, really like, don't wait to the last minute. Because what's happening is that so many people are um, ordering right at the jump when these items release. Is that sometimes they do tend to send out, sell out very, very quick. So just want you guys to know that. So I got you, all right? But they're fabulous things. All right, so let me get into this flash sale. Oh my gosh, I have some great items. I can't wait to show you. I really got some good things out of steel. And this flash sale, right? Just so you guys know, I got bars, I got boxes and oogles of good things. I got a warmer. I got, oh, there were just so many great things on this flash sale. I mean, I know it took a minute for me to get all these great things to my home. Um, part of the reason why I've been holding out on doing a live is because I wanted to share all these great things with you. Some of these scents were, were scents that I loved and forgot to put in my, my own personal Scentsy Club. And they actually went in this flash sale, so I had to stock up on them. Some of the scents um, were scents that I've heard about before, um, after I became a consultant, but they were out, you know, maybe a year before I became a consultant about that time or, um, and I wanted to try them and didn't get the opportunity to, and they went on the flash sale and I'm like, oh gosh, absolutely. And then some of them are just scents that I didn't know anything about at all. So I want to go through some of these with you, right? So. First one, ooh, almost dropped it, that I got was a scent called French Kiss. And this was um, a Bring Back My Bar, not this go around. I want to say it was summer of 2021 of last year. Um, and I absolutely love this scent, but I didn't put it in my club. This is one that I was really upset that I didn't put in my club. As you can see, it's, I think I have a few bars behind me one or two somewhere over there but that was all i had left and i was really like kicking myself in the head because i'm like why didn't i put this in my club because i really do like the scent and it actually went on the flash sale oh my gosh it smells heavenly like i can't even describe what french kiss smells like to me but it's like sophisticated it's this beautiful like um like almost plum colored wax purple colored wax um, it's not too strong, but it's, um, the, it's throw is pretty decent. I would say it's probably about like a, on throw level, maybe about like, um, a six, like a medium throw. It's not overly strong. It's not super loud. To me, I get a lot of like some floral in this, but it's really fresh and I just love it. Yeah. So I got... I think these went down to like three bucks a bar and normally these are like um six dollars i definitely copped up a few of these i'm not going to tell you how many well i will I took 10 of them because i can't get them in my sensi club so i did get 10 of these bars <laughs> just because i know i i love this scent and i missed out the first go around so that is french kiss absolutely fabulous oh this one here I heard so many good things about and it went on the flash sale and I could not wait to get my hands on this. Like things were selling out as soon as I put things in my cart and I'm so glad this did not sell out as I was trying to check out. But this uh, scent is called Southern, uh, Southern Sweet Tea. And oh my gosh, y'all, like this right here, the scent of this, it's, oh my God, like just like the name, it's this beautiful, like it looks like tea like really beautiful like peachy kind of colored wax and i get a hint of cit citrus in it but it definitely smells like very sugary and very like tea like um but the citrus i don't know if it's like lemon like a lemon sweet tea or like a peach sweet tea or it could or it could be both and this one is a medium throw i would probably give this a five out of ten as far as throw goes but it smells just like the name. I was super excited about this. Like, and the fact that I was able to get my hands on this. And I tell you, 
during the flash sale, this maybe lasted an hour, like on the first day. So the fact that I was able to get my hands on this, I think I got like six bars of this, absolutely fabulous. I had to show that one off to you. All right, so I'm going down the line here. Oh my goodness, okay. So this next one, honestly, the way this flash sale went, I had to act really, really quick. I'll be very honest. I didn't know if this one was in my Scentsy Club or not, that I get it made for me forever. I felt like it was not, so I stocked up on it anyway, and I'm not upset that I did, because worse to worse, I can take it out of my Scentsy Club if I think I have too much of it. But I love this scent. It's super sophisticated. It's awesome. Um, this one is called Midnight Fig, and I absolutely love the scent. It smells like figs and plums, but and like a very sophisticated kind of scent, which is so me. Mm. Like bakery is my jam, that category, but like for a fruit category, I actually like this because it's this beautiful plum wax color, as you guys can see, and it smells like rich. It smells like very smooth and expensive. Like I, I, love, I love the scent. Like Midnight Fig for me, this is a good mixer. I tried mixing this in my classroom with a uh, shimmer, which gave it a very like almost perfume kind of note, like a musk kind of note added to Midnight Fig. And I thought at first it might be a little bit over the top because I teach middle school and sometimes my kids can be like, oh, I, I, what's that smell? I hate it. And sometimes they're like, I really, really love it. But it actually gave it like a smooth, calming kind of effect uh with the smell that was really really soothing that i really really enjoyed so this one's uh this one's great by itself but this one is also very good to mix with um with something like shimmer um i'm curious to mix this with another scent like anything floral like maybe um hey tiger lily i think that one would maybe mix well with this one i'd be curious because Hey Tiger Lily, I really like that scent, but it's really strong. So if I wanted to diet down with something, Midnight Fig might be a good option. But I, I, I definitely like rocked up on Midnight Fig. I absolutely love it. Hey Shayla, yes, yes. Oh, do you see? Yes, shout it out. Don't you love it? Like I'm really getting into these perm rod locks. Like I really, really like it. It's it's different. It's very useful. Um, you know, I kind of like the fact that it's like a, like, kind of like this fro kind of effect. And, you know, everywhere I've gone today, like, everyone has really, really liked my hair, or, like, really complimented or shouted out this look. So I really think it's, like, really kind of cool just to switch it up and do something really, really different, right? And, um, I love the color. Um, I was telling them earlier, like one person was uh, telling me that he got hungry for curly fries. So I just took that for a, as a compliment. I'm like, okay, yeah, I can, I can get where he's going with that. Um, but curly fries, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll be uh, Arby's new slogan or something. I don't know. But hey, if that's that's what it is, look, I, I take it in stride. I love it. <laughs> curly fries. Hey, it works. All right. So, get the French kiss. We went through Midnight Fig. Oh my goodness, Ambrosia. If you like fruit salad with like whipped cream, like Cool Whip, this one is your jam. And let me tell you, this was a bring back my bar this past go around um, in winter of 2022. And I was so upset with myself because this is one I totally wanted to add to my Scentsy Club and I did not add it to my Scentsy Club. Oh, I was so upset that I didn't. Like, this is one I'm mad that I did not add to my Scentsy Club, but guess where I got it? On that flash sale. So as soon as I saw that it was on, on the flash sale, I definitely added 10 bars of this. I'm not gonna lie. That's how many of these I needed. And the fact that I got it on sale. And it's like, Fruit cocktail, fruit salad with a bit of like creamy vanilla or whipped cream and I absolutely love it. Like I'm so upset because I'm not really a fruit kind of guy, but lately I've been kind of digging these fruit kind of scents, right? And this one's absolutely fabulous. Like it's this beautiful like red color 
if you guys can see that, like the detail. And I love that they put like the um, different fragrance families on the bottom of the wax. I think that's super, super cute. And this one is like, I can't even, oh gosh, I can't even fathom. Like, if you like a fruity mix and that's like not over the top, that's definitely this scent. The the throw of this, I would definitely give this a 7 out of 10. It's pretty strong, and it lasts a long time. And tell you the truth, I mixed this one because I had a bar of this left from when I got it, um, when it was Bring Back My Bar. So I mixed this one yesterday. I actually warmed it. I was like, oh, Ambrosia. I decided to warm this with a peeling apple. So I put a cube of a peeling apple with Ambrosia, ambrosia salad. <laughs> Ambrosia is what the bar is called, right? So I decided to put one in one, and it smells divine, like very, very spring. Oh my gosh, I love it. I, I love it. Such, such a good keeper. All right, so with that, okay. Now this one I got super excited about when it went to the flash sale because I never heard of anything like this. And it's called pas, Pastelito, Pastelitos. And... um. You know, by the description, if I remember when I read it, it was like pineapple meets like white rum and like sugar. And I'm like, oh, this sounds like a very like exotic kind of like drink, right? And I'm like, okay, but what's the difference between this and like pina colada cha-cha or like pineapple mango? I'm like, is it going to be like the same as that? Or is or am I going to take a chance? Is it going to be a little bit different? Or is it going to be like... um What's the scent that we have right now in a spring summer catalog? Um, Havana, Cabana, 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 Havana, Cabana, Havana, Cabana, oh, something like that. Havana, Cabana, I think that's what it is. It looks the same color. Like it's this beautiful yellow color. Anyway, similar to that, right? And I like that scent a lot, but I'm like, mm hmm. But the name of it was like, it was sending me something, right? It was sending me. And I'm like, okay, I know it's on the flash sale. So if I don't get this now, I'll never be able to try it. And the, and it was like behooving me to get it, right? So, oh my gosh. This one is very, I don't think it's that super strong. And I'm okay with that because I don't really like um, like tropical scents to be like super, super strong. I like them to be light because they wind up being like a good mixer with anything you want to mix. I definitely get the pineapple in this and I get like a rum kind of note. Not like boozy, but like it smells like like an alcohol drink to me. Like, but not like overly boozy, but I like this a lot. Um, if I were going to mix this with something, I could see me mixing it with if you um from Bring Back My Bar, if you got banana rama and you want to cut that one down because that one's kind of a loud scent with um the banana feel to it, it's kind of loud. This is one I would consider, you know, cutting with Banana Rama. I definitely would. Banana Berry, which was to bring back my bar, which was, and I believe, I have, see, I have Banana Berry in my, oh God, my Scentsy Club is ridiculous. Like, but I have Banana Berry in my Scentsy Club, and I believe it was a Easter collection bar from 2021, if I'm correct. And... Because, no, it wasn't this year. It wasn't this year's Easter collection. Which I like this year's Easter collection, too. But we'll see if I add those to my club. I don't know, because my club's so full right now. Um, but, yeah, this one, Pastelitos, is really nice. Um, I can see this being warmed in the summertime. I can see this being warm now. I don't know if I would warm it in the fall. Um, just because, you know, I'm a fall kind of person and I like my pumpkin and I like my spices and I just don't see this fitting with like that kind of feel, but I'm not saying no. I just, you know, I like it. I like it. But what I love most about it is that it's not a strong pineapple rummy kind of scent. It's light and it would be a great mixer for anything that's in that fruity floral vibe that's strong to kind of die down those strong vibes that's what i would say about pastelitos all right put that to the side 
Oh my gosh, I just got so many to go through, you guys. And I told y'all I'm going to keep you guys long, long because guess what? I'm doing another live tomorrow. Yes, I am. And I'm going to tell you, I got some other things that I want to show you guys. Um, I have some great um, new uh, Disney uh, buddies that I want to show you that I just got. Um, and I got some... I'm trying to think. I, got, I just got some goodies. Like, I got a lot of good stuff that I really want to show you guys. And I didn't want to do it all in one video because if I do on Easter night, guess what? I'm going to keep you guys up here for like two hours and I'm not trying to do that. One, because I know it's late and I know y'all trying to get the little ones in bed and have some adult time. So why not break these videos up into a few videos, right? And I know you guys miss me, so I don't have to give you all the details <laughs> in one video. <laughs> keep the suspense rolling. Yes, God. All right. So, this next bar, oh my goodness, like, it is in my Scentsy Club, but I don't care. It is fabulous. It, it was a bring back my bar. It gets voted back constantly. It actually went on sale, so I had to stock up on a few of these bars because I actually love the way this one smells, and it snuck up on me because so many people love this scent, and I was like, eh, I don't know. But for me, I really do like it, and it is called... Sugar Baby. Well, not Sugar Baby. I mean, Sugar Babies would be good. Oh, gosh. That'd be a good Scentsy Bar, too. But this one's actually called Sugar. <laughs> Let me not give you guys any ideas. Like, oh, it's supposed to smell like Sugar Babies. Like caramel. No, it's not. It's like sugar. All right? And it's this beautiful pink wax. I really love this one. It's beautiful. It's pink. Oh, Sugar, oh my gosh, it's like a hint of cotton candy sugar. It's sweet. It's kind of girly, girly, but I don't care. I still love it. I don't care at all. I really do like this one a lot. Uh, my girls, my this one's for my girls. My girls are going to like this. My ladies are going to love this, but I don't care, you know, Guys can rock this scent, too, and I'll tell you why. Because, let me tell you, if your girl smells good, you're complimenting her, and she's going to love you for it. So, when I'm thinking about the mothers, the daughters, the aunts, the sisters, the grandmas, everybody, your girlfriend. I was going to say side piece, but they, <laughs> please don't do that. No, no. <laughs> That's a whole nother uh, show. But, um... Anyhow, let's get back to sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just having too much fun. Anyway, so with sugar, right? Look, what I love about this, it has like a zest to it, almost like um like a lemon kind of note to it that I really like. Um, that's really kind of fresh and serene. And would I rate this as a strong throw? No, but it's nice for what it does. I would definitely give this a five out of ten as far as throw goes. And it's fabulous. I love it. I love it. It's a great. You can mix this with anything. Anything and get a good effect. I'd be curious to mix this with like a vanilla kind of scent or like a marshmallow kind of scent to give it kind of like a um, a bakery kind of sugary kind of feel like, like icing. I'd be curious about that, but I really like sugar a lot. It's one of my, one of my go-tos. And it is in my Scentsy Club. All right. So I'm getting down to the wire here. Okay, good. I'll talk to you guys about... Oh, Aussie Plum. Aussie Plum. Aussie Plum. Look at this plum color wax. Let me tell you about Aussie Plum. All right? This is another one that was a Scentsy Club exclusive Bring Back My Bar that actually went in the flash sale. Oh, my goodness. And I actually love this, and this is in my club, too. Aussie Plum. You know, I don't know what the Aussie plum smells like versus, you know, Midnight Fig or like, a you know, regular plum. You know, I don't know, you know, if it's an Australia kind of thing, you know, down under like Outback steak, Steakhouse kind of thing. I don't know. But what I like about it, it just, it smells floral, not floral. I mean, a little hint of floral, but more fruity. But I get that plum in there and um, I really love it. It almost smells a little tropical to me, right? I really like this scent a lot. Um, this one, I would definitely give you probably like a six 
out of 10 on the throw of this one, and it lasts a while. Like this one, you can smell it when you warm it. The first day, the first few hours, it's just as intense then as it would be 24 hours. So I would say about 48 hours from now. So that throw lasts a long time for Aussie Plum. Oh, absolutely fabulous, darlings. This one I love a lot. All right. I, you know me. I got so much to get through. I'm like getting through all these goodies. Okay, I went through sugar with you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Simply Vanilla. Simply Vanilla. Talking about something I would add to sugar to give it like that creamy effect. Simply Vanilla. I got this on the flash sale, too. And this one, just, just like the name says, Simply the Best. It's simply vanilla. It's not overly strong. It's not going to give you anything more than what you want. It's actually really, really um, nice. If you like a vanilla scent, you know, I love that, you know, and I love that this one will stand by itself or you can, you can warm simply vanilla with anything and it's going to give you just, just the vibe that you want. This is, this, this is a go-to for sure. Okay. We did Southern Sweet Tea. I feel like we got through everything in the box. There might be like one more. Oh Lord, I'm telling you, this this is a big box of wax. And as you can see, the lot behind me. I let me tell you, I got so many bars. You know, I will never give up on my Sensi. I love it that much. It's that good. Oh my God, it's just that good. It's that good. And me being the consultant, get these perks and getting. You know, I spend next to nothing. I love it. I absolutely love it. I won't do anything else but Scentsy, seriously. And I used to be a candle junkie. I'm not going to tell you what brands, and I still love those brands, but what I love about Scentsy is the no soot. I love the throw of, of the scent. I love that there's no risk with no fire. Um, it's only warm enough to, to, you know, that it's not going to burn or hurt you if it, if, if it you know, if it spills. Um... And I just love the vibe. I love the fact that you can uh, change these warmers around and, and put these beautiful decorations in your house, darling. It's fabulous. I love everything about it. And look at this beautiful blue wax. This is the last one I'm going to talk to you guys about, and I'm going to get into some other stuff here. But this one is called Blueberry Rush. And oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this one went on sale. If you didn't grab you a few bars of this, you... Missed out. Blue. Oh, my gosh. This one, Sweet Babies. Let me tell you something. If you like blueberry as much as I do, like I love blueberry cheesecake, blueberry um, pie, blueberry, um, pretty much anything blueberry. I like, like blueberry candy. I love it. I just, it smells like that. I love it. I love it. It's sweet. It's nice. Sugary. I would uh, give this probably like, as far as throw goes, I would probably give this a 6 out of 10. Not overly strong. Just gives you what you need with the blueberries. Oh, I love it. 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 So, look how big this, you know, from the flash sale, guys. I got this at little or next to nothing. Up to 80% off of all these wonderful bars. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm just gonna, I, look, with everything I got, like, it's just ridiculous. Oh, bricks. Now, I gotta talk about a brick, right? Now, I wasn't gonna get a brick, but I got this particular brick because my neighbor, Deneen, absolutely loves this scent. I don't really care for it that much, but she loves it, so I got it because I'm like, I don't know if they're going to bring the scent back. They did not, you know, it was uh, scent of the month. Um, I want to say it was 2021 January. And I thought that this one was a good, you know, mix of reviews. A lot of people like this. I thought they would put this in the catalog. They did not. Hence why if you really love some, a scent and it is discontinued, you should get your bar made forever. Just saying by having a Scentsy Club subscription, because if your bar is discontinued for whatever reason, and as long as it's in your Scentsy Club and you get it on your schedule, Scentsy will make it for you no matter what. Now, this scent is called Jade and Jasmine. 
I have a few bars of it left, but I love to hook my customers up that purchase from me. I love to. And like, if it's a scent that I know that they are looking for or that they really, really like, I like to make sure I have a little bit extra on hand so that way I can sample it out and make sure that they get a few, you know, if they need it, anything like that. I just try to, to do that as a consultant. That's what I do. Um, even though it might be something that I don't necessarily love as much. Now, this one here, Jade and Jasmine, what I love about the bricks, right? And these are all our bricks. They look like a, a wax bar. They look like a wax bar, but as you can see, they are about five times the size of wax. This is your wax bar. This is your brick. Look how big that is, right? So, you know, you can use this at your disposal. You can use one cube of this. You can break it up. You know, you can ration it out. You can give it out to people. Whatever you want to do. That's what I love about bricks. And it lasts a long time. I am big about my bricks. Like, I love Scentsy bricks when they are ever available. And this particular one, it is a florally kind of scent with, like, the, a perfumey kind of feel with that jasmine. I mean, it's not horrible to me. It's just not what I personally love. You know, but I had to get this because I know, I know my neighbor is going to need some more Jade and Jasmine. So I had to get this and I got this for like a steal. These are normally, the only way you can really get bricks is having a Scentsy Club subscription. They're available in Scentsy Club for $24. But in the flash sale, when this went on sale, I feel, I think this was like $10 for this brick, $10. When a bar of wax is normally six bucks, you do the math. I had to get the brick. I just had to, had to, had to, had to, hands down. I had to do it. All right. So let me move on here. Now I got also, oh, there were a few more bars I did get. They had a few licensed bars um, for sale in the flash sale. And I did get some of the licensed bars. Now I have never seen the movie up. We had an up warmer, which was super, super cute. And that was in the flash sale. I decided not to get it. But I was curious about the wax for up, which um, it's called a venture is out there. And, you know, I said, why not? Let me just let me just grab it. And, you know, to, to see, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll do that. You know, it might be my jam. It might not be my jam. But I definitely just wanted to check this one out and see if I really, really like it and this is the first time i'm smelling this one um it's from the movie up once again and it's not bad it's not bad i'm trying to think of what it reminds me of like i'm guessing because of of the movie up and the clouds of what i'm seeing with the with the balloons in the house i guess what's reminding me of, of is like the sky like this like fresh kind of scent but i get a sense of fruit in this too but i get like a more of a fresh vibe from this i get like this kind of cloud kind of feel to this scent and i'm not mad about this one at all normally fresh kind of scents are not necessarily my thing because sometimes they can be a little bit overpowering this one is not surprisingly the throw of this i would probably give this as far as a throw i probably give this like a four or five four or five. And I say that I probably sound a little nasally right now. Let me tell you, the pollen is affecting me. It's not COVID. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's not the COVID. It's not that. But the pollen here in New York City has been over the top. And I don't know about you guys, but my allergies come spring are horrible. It's like the worst time of the year. I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst, en my worst enemy to have allergies the way that I do when it comes to pollen and like the way that it affects my sinuses. So I'm on an anti antihistamine right now. I went to go see my doctor and, um, you know, it's helping, but like the fact that I can even still smell is a blessing. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes when, uh, things smell super, super strong, like a fresh kind of scent like this, and I have allergies, it can make me sneeze like hey wire. This one really isn't. So I really like it. So that's the Disney Up. Um, I got a few Scentsy Pods on sale. 
Um, if you guys know, I do have a um, a uh, air purifier, a Scentsy air purifier. And what I love about the air purifier, it helps clean the air. It's helping me with my allergies, right? But what's what I also love about my air purifier is you have the option to add a fragrance with a fragrance pod with a Scentsy air purifier. And Scentsy is the only purifier out there that gives you that option, loves. And I know... You know, it's a little bit pricey, but it is worth it. And I absolutely love my air purifier. So I switch up the scents. And these scent pods, two in a pack, went on sale. And I got vanilla mint, which I really, really love the scent. Oh my gosh, it is straight vanilla and mint. Like a spearmint kind of feel. And it's absolutely fabulous. So, and what I love about vanilla mint, even though this is, um, this is definitely um, fall winter. This is a scent, believe it or not, I like mint. I will warm this year round. That's me personally. Um, I love it a lot. Uh, oh, Shayla says, I love scent, um, Scentsy Pods. My favorite thing with Scentsy. Let me tell you, some people don't necessarily like to deal with the wax. You know, this is a great alternative is the Scentsy Pod. Some people don't. My mother, she doesn't like the wax as much. She really doesn't. She loves our cleaning products. She loves our laundry detergent. Um, she loves our dish, our dish soap, our counter clean, and she loves. Um, she's been getting into the Scentsy pods. Hey, it's a it's a great alternative. Maybe you have little children at home, and maybe um, a warmer with wax is not an ideal situation for them. You know, or pets. You know, I love my dogs. You know, but if my dogs were a little bit smaller, they're almost three now, but if they were a little bit smaller, I might be a little bit leery about my warmers and my, my dogs. But my dogs are pretty respectful to my warmers, believe it or not, except there was one warmer. <sighs> Yvette, God bless us all. You guys know I have two dogs. Their names are Jody and Yvette. Yvette chewed up one of the cords of my beautiful beautiful illuminated warmer and I luckily I have two of those warmers and I got those on the sale but other than that that's the only mishaps that we've ever had with um with warmers thank goodness but I think about people with you know sometimes pets are like pets and little children you know maybe you don't necessarily want a wax warmer around them even though the wax is only warm enough that it won't burn a child it's just to warm it right but then you have the mess that you have to clean up and all this stuff. What I love about Scentsy Pods, minimal mess. You don't have no mess. You don't stress. You pop it right in, pop it in, and forget about it, baby. Forget about it. And then just, when you're done, throw it away. And it gets the same effect. Yep. <laughs> oh! Oh! Shayla said Yvette tried it. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. But I still love her. You know, I love my doggies. No, one, no one's being put out quite yet. No one's being put out quite yet, but hmm, I learned that I gotta watch what I do with those um, with the warmers and the and the uh, what do you call it the 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 the, the cords. Mm -mm, I don't have no cords anywhere near my dogs at all, at all. Like period. I had I like really dog proof the house. All right. So this is a warmer I got on the flash sale, and I got this because I said. Why not? I just thought it was really, really cute. It's an, um, an element warmer, so there's no light to it, so I don't have to light this. But I'm going to unbox this one for you. This one is called Indigo Tile. I just thought this is really cute, and I just started to think um, places that maybe this potentially could go. This would look good if you have, like, um, um, a wall splash, like a tile wall splash area in your kitchen or in your bathroom. This kind of decor would look really, really cute. I'm thinking my ki kitchen. I only have a mini warmer right now in my kitchen. I'm just thinking, you know, this might be something I I, I might want for myself. Um, this might be something that I might want to gift uh, to somebody. I don't know. But I really thought long and hard if I really wanted to get this warmer in the flash sale. And for the price, I'm like, why not? And of course... Like, literally, as soon as I put this one in my car, it sold out, like, maybe, I want to say, like, 45 minutes later. So, I got one. I'm so glad. All right. Oh, my God. It's so cute. It's like tiles. Oh, my gosh. I have to take the stuffings away, and I have to let you guys see this. 
Oh my gosh, and it's an element warmer, so you put the wax right there in the top. And there's a light that indicates when your warmer is on, right there. And look at the details, this is super cute. You know, it's simple. Like, I love simplicity. Sometimes your warmers don't have to be um, over the top, right? Or, you know, or like be like a statement piece or like, the, you know, like the wow, like the, the, the trifecta in the house. You know, sometimes they just need to be subtle. And that's what I like about this one. It has like this towel kind of effect. That's really, that's why I said this one would be really pretty in a bathroom. If you have like navy and white in your bathroom, that would be really pretty there. Or like in your kitchen area, I could totally see this. I could see this in in my office at my work, at, at, you know, at, at school. You know, I have a separate office space in my classroom. I could totally see this in my office space. Yeah, this one, hmm, I said I could gift this to somebody, but... Mm, <laughs> I don't think I'll be gifting this to anybody. I think I'll be gifting this to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it cute though? Like this is super, super cute, right? Like I'm telling you, these flash, I'm, you know, if Sensi has another flash sale, please be on the lookout. I definitely will shout everyone out, let you guys know. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Make sure you follow me on my YouTube channel, which is Lockshawn Sense. Follow me on Instagram, Lockshawn Sense. Make sure you follow me. Send me a message. Send me a DM. Just say, Sean, what's going on? What's up? It doesn't hurt to get in my VIP group and get in my page. And just, I, I love that. So that way, even if you're not buying right now, but you know what's coming up. Like, let me tell you, right now we got a lot going on, right? So you guys got to think. You better think. Think about what you're trying to do to me. Woo! But listen, we got Mother's Day coming up. We got graduations coming up. We got Father's Day coming up. Give them the gift of Scentsy. Just like my t-shirt says, I don't know if you can see this. You need Scentsy. I'm your guy. All right? So I got you. And you know where you need to go to get it? Hmm, I'm going to show you. You catch that, baby? Lock Sean Scents. Dot sensi dot us. That's where you go, and you tell them Sean sent you with these curls that are popping from the back and from the front. Ow! <laughs> oh gosh, I love having fun with you guys. Okay, I got one more item to show you guys, right? So, all right, with this, all right, and this is the last thing I'm gonna show you guys because you know I'm not, I'm not trying to keep you guys forever. All right, so I love our oil diffusers, right? Our premium oil diffusers. And what I love the most about the premium oil diffusers, right, is that you get to change the shade, darling. You get to change the shade to match your decor, match your mood. You don't have to keep the same shade. Now, of course, um... The base is, you know, it comes with the base, which is really, really great, but you get to change the shade. And there's so many shades to choose from to have your house have a vibe. I have a diffuser, a premium diffuser in my bedroom. I absolutely love it. And I also have one in my classroom. My students love it. This is a great alternative if maybe you don't want warmers or wax in the classroom like i teach in middle school my kids love my wax and warmers but sometimes they want to touch the wax sometimes they want to touch the wax i can only imagine in elementary school sometimes they want to try to touch the wax what i love about the diffuser it uses water and oil right but it's beautiful so if the kids touch the diffuser even though we say it's great to smell but not to touch right um you know they're not going to hurt anything much if they, you know, if they touch the diffuser. You know, it's just water and oil. And it's beautiful, right? So my coworker, Miss Ayala, Miss Miss Ayala, I love her so much. She's one of our secretaries in our office. She saw my awakened shade um, in my classroom. And she said, Spivy, I got to have that. Spivy, I got to have that. And I kept telling her, okay, I'm going to get it for you. But then... When she wanted to order it, it went away. 
because this is one that's not available anymore. They took it away from the spring summer catalog and she wanted it like at the tail end when, they were tr when we were in transition month, right? So I said, oh, you know, but let me keep my eye out if there's something else that comes out that's very similar, right? She's like, okay, thanks, let me know, right? So wouldn't you believe that during the flash sale, the shade of it all, the shade of the awakened shade went on sale. And when I tell you they went on sale for 80%, I told her instantly, like, I, before I even told her, I ordered it because I didn't want the sucker to sell out and I knew she was going to buy it. This was originally, I think, like the shade alone, it was originally like 70 bucks. Do you know this shade was marked down on the flash sale to 12 bucks? That was the shade alone, $12. When I saw that price, I'm like, uh-uh. I'll talk to her later. I don't even care. I'll eat the $12 if she says she doesn't want it. But I told her, I said, I bought it for you anyway. So this is her shade. I'm going to show it to you and show you how beautiful this thing is. Oh, my God. And, you know, I just told her, you know, the, you just had to buy the base separately, which she bought the base separately, which the base, I think, was like 70 bucks. So all in all, she's going to spend... 70 plus 12 that's about like 82 bucks and the whole set originally would have cost her like 150 so she saved some money go ahead miss ayala she saved some money so i gotta show you this beautiful awaken shade and i know she's not gonna mind me showing it to you all right you guys for 12 dollars, and this bad boy is originally like 70 bucks I'm not going to take it all the way out of the packaging, but I'm going to take it out enough so you guys can see. It's like this crushed glass kind of feel. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm going to give you the, the coup to gras, baby. All right. And, oh, my gosh. She's going to love it. It has this mosaic kind of feel. Look at that. And I know right now... It looks like a mosaic, like crushed, um, how do you say, crushed mirror kind of effect to this. But when I tell you, you put this on your Premier Diffuser, right? And there is light settings on this. So there, it has a rainbow of lights, right? You can put one color on and have that light flash through. You can change it to where the light flickers. You can change it where the lights go on a rotation. This is utterly beautiful. This shade is utterly beautiful on top of your premium diffuser. And I'm so sad that they discontinued this. Like, but the fact that this went on sale for $12, I should have got two. I should have got two and did a giveaway. And I didn't even think that quick because of that flash sale. This is, let me tell you. And I couldn't believe the price. I couldn't believe they were getting rid of these. I hate to say get rid, but that's literally how it felt. Because this shade is just ridiculous. For 12 bucks? 12, I'm telling you, it <laughs> worth every penny. Worth every freaking penny. It's gorgeous. Like, and I can't wait for Miss Ayala to get her beautiful awakened, awakened shade and her diffuser base. It's it's utterly fabulous. So guys, I know I went through a lot. I know I kept you guys longer than I needed to tonight, but I'm just glad to connect with you guys. I'm glad that you guys were able to join me on this live and shout me out tonight. Listen, Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, I'm telling you now, you're going to absolutely love, 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 this warmer and wax collection and these buddies, which release tomorrow. You got to get your hands on one of these, like you do. And the only way that you're going to do that is by ordering at lockshawnsense.sensi.us. And if you want me to pre-order this bad boy for you so I can secure it for you and make sure that it is ordered tomorrow when these get released and you don't miss out on this wonderful opportunity, please send me a DM. Please send me an email at lakshansense at gmail.com. 
please shout me out. I got you. I will take care of you. I will make sure that you are satisfied. That is my job. Oh my gosh. So I went through so much tonight. I love you guys lots. Oh my gosh. So make sure you give me that follow, that like. Follow me on lockshawnsense.sensi. Um, oh, well, that's my website. Lockshawnsense.sensi.us. That's for all orders. And please make sure you um, like and subscribe to Facebook, Sense, and Instagram, and my YouTube channel at Sense. So I love you guys lots for watching, and I hope you guys had a fabulous Easter. And I will see each and every one of you guys tomorrow. I'm going live again tomorrow. Get a snack. Come on back. I'll be going live tomorrow about 7 o'clock. And let's chat some more Sensi. So I can't wait to see each and every one of you guys then. Love you lots. Bye, guys. See you guys soon.